Welcome to chapter 3. Today's lesson is about inequalities and their graphs, section 3.1. Our goal is that we can be able to write, graph, and identify solutions of inequalities. So to begin, how about we define what an inequality is? It is a mathematical sentence that uses an inequality symbol to compare the values of two expressions. So one of the most important words in that definition is the word compare. Because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be um, comparing values with each other and seeing which one's bigger, which one's smaller. So we have this question, how can you determine which direction the inequality symbol opens? Well, this is very helpful right here. The symbol opens to the greater of the two numbers and points to the lesser. So here is a little diagram of that greater number. The symbol is opening to that bigger number and it's pointing to the lesser or smaller number. Okay, in example one, we need to write the inequality that is represented by the verbal expression. So, all real numbers x less than or equal to negative 7. I think the easiest way to do these problems is to split them up into to smaller sections. So, let's split it up right here, draw a line there, and right here. All real numbers x, we can just write an x there, less than or equal to is this symbol, and negative 7. So x is less than or equal to negative 7. In part b, we have 6 less than a number k is greater than 13. 6 less than a number k is greater than 13. So this less than part kind of seems like it would be um, the less than symbol, but it's actually not. You have to have the word is in front in order for it to be the symbol. So. 6 less than k means you're, doing, you're taking 6 away from k. So this is going to be k minus 6. Is greater than is the symbol, and 13 comes next, and that's the inequality right there. Now I want to distinguish the difference between 6 less than k, this is k minus 6, but what if it was 6 less a number x? This would be a different expression, it would be 6 minus x. When you do not have the word than, you are doing 6 minus x. When you have the word less than, you're doing k minus 6. So that's the difference. Just make sure you don't get confused between those two. Here's a vocab term, solution of an inequality. And this is any number that makes the inequality true. So this is very similar to solution of an equation, except this time we don't have an equal sign, we have um, one of the inequality symbols. Okay, here's an example. We have the inequality x is less than 5. The solutions of this inequality are all real numbers x that are less than 5. Less than means smaller than 5. So looking at these, we have is 6 a solution? Well, let's think to ourselves, is 6 smaller than 5? No. Is negative 5 a solution? Is negative 5 smaller than 5? Yes. Is 5.1 a solution? Is 5.1 less than 5? No, it's actually slightly bigger. And is 4.99 a solution? Is 4.99 smaller than 5? And the answer is yes, it's very slightly smaller. Okay, example two at the bottom of your page. Is the number a solution of 2x plus 1 is greater than negative 3? We've done this before with equations. What you're going to do is just plug the negative 3 in for the x. So we have 2 times negative 3 plus 1 greater than negative 3. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Bring everything else down. Combine like terms on the left. Negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. Is negative 5 greater than negative 3? 
And the answer is no, it's more negative, so it's smaller. So we're going to say negative 3 is not a solution because it didn't work for the inequality. Now let's try the next one. We're plugging in negative 1 this time. Two times negative one is negative two plus one greater than negative three. Um, it, what is negative two plus one? That's negative one. Is negative one greater than negative three? The answer is yes, it is greater because it's less negative than the negative three. So we're going to write right here, negative one is a solution. So what we did was we just plugged in the original value for the x and did our operations. Now let's learn how to graph inequalities. The first one is n is less than 1. So first of all, let's learn what the difference is between open and closed circles. If you have a symbol like this, one of these symbols, it's going to be an open circle because that means we're not including the endpoint. And these are the endpoints right here. All those are endpoints. Um, if the symbol has a line underneath, that means you are including the endpoint and it's going to be a closed circle. So taking a look at the first example, n is less than 1, go to the 1, put an open circle on it because there's no line underneath the less than symbol, and we're going to shade to the left. And the reason why is because those are the values that are smaller than or less than 1. And just to give you a little hint, um, when the variable is on the left side of the inequality, the symbol points towards where you're going to shade. So as you can see right here, this symbol is pointing towards the left and it looks exactly like the, the arrow right here. So that's going to give you a big clue. Now look at the very last one, we're about to get to that. The x is not in the beginning, so we're going to have to rewrite it in order to use the little trick. It's really helpful. Okay, next one. a is greater than or equal to 0. Go to the 0. We're putting a closed circle because of the line underneath the inequality symbol, and we're shading towards the right because those are the numbers that are bigger than 0. Greater than. Next one, f is greater than 3. Go to the 3. Open circle because we're not including the 3 and we're shading to the right as well. Those are the numbers that are bigger than 3. And the last one, like I said a bit ago, you have to rewrite it in order to use a trick. Negative 2 is greater than or equal to x. Well, if you reverse the whole thing, you'll have x in the beginning. The opposite of greater than or equal to is less than or equal to, and the negative 2 comes after that. So it's the exact same thing, just written a little bit different. And now we can use our little trick, so go to the negative 2, closed circle, and shading to the left. Those are the numbers that are less than or equal to negative 2. Okay, example 3. What is the graph of 2 greater than or equal to a? First, let's reverse the whole thing so we can use the trick. a is less than or equal to 2 is the same thing. Go to the 2, close circle because of that line underneath, and shading to the left. Because those are the numbers that are smaller than 2. Example 4. This time we have the graph and we need to write what inequality is, so it's exactly the opposite of what we've been doing. So first let's look at this circle for part A. It is a closed circle, so write that. That means there will be a line underneath. And look to see where the shading is. It is to the right. So we're going to have x greater than or equal to negative 1. And that's it. Now in part b, we have an open circle. That means that we're not going to include the endpoint, which means our symbol is not going to have a line underneath. And it's shaded to the left. So have your circle, your um, symbol point to, towards the left, we can use x again, it's totally fine, and then the end point is 4, and that's it.
Okay, our last example. What inequality describes this situation? Be sure to define the variable. Train ride starting at 1999. Starting at, what does that mean? That means that the very cheapest it can be is 1999. So we're going to use, let's use C. Let's see equal cost of a trail ride in dollars. We're going to have C, we're going to have 1999. What symbol goes in the middle? It's greater than or equal to because the smallest it can be is 1999 and it can go more than that. That's what starting at means. Now the last part, part B, speed limit, eight miles per hour. Wow, that is super slow. Let's define S equals legal speed in miles per hour. And what does the speed limit mean? Should you go over the speed limit or under? And if you don't want a ticket, you need to go the speed limit or under. Do not go over the speed limit. So we're going to have S, we're going to have 8, and it's going to be less than or equal to because it's okay to go the speed limit, you just cannot go over. So that completes this lesson. You can look at the co concept summary right below. You can try the lesson check if you'd like, or you can wait until we do similar problems together during class.